to remove for a very general simple action. I am not used to the interface of the press and so, so I am indeed honored uh, for this invitation. When Sahil asked me about uh, this seminar, I clarified that I would not talk about developing technology. Mainly because if I start talking about that, then I don't know where to stop. So uh, I have kept that uh, topic aside. So he has now worked out a format that I speak for 20 minutes and then get grilled for 40 minutes by Abhita. But I have no problems with that kind of initiative. Uh, so let me begin with the uh, introduction. Usually when, the, I, I think you might have heard the announcement that was made. This talk is divided into three broad uh, categories. One is about the evolution of planning in Mumbai and MMA. The other is about land and property because I think that is a topic which is not linked to planning uh, and it is necessarily uh, linked to planning uh, very closely. And the third is the institution because planning occurs in an institution and if institutions are weak, you get planning uh, also that is weak. So in these three parts I am going to talk. The first is about the planning that occurred in the pre-independence era in Mumbai. <coughs> When people talk about history of Mumbai, they start talking about the 1661 marriage treaty between the Portuguese and the England and the British came. Uh, and many people uh, remember that because there is a Hunda involved in it. Uh, and the Hunda was the Seven Islands. But we will put aside that uh, history. The planning history as such has its genesis in the plague epidemic of 1896 and government at that time thought that the problem is so severe that the municipal corporation which was established in 1888 will not be able to handle this and we need a separate organization and therefore they uh, created Bombay Improvement Trust. And this notion that every problem must have its own organization has its origins here and that we still have. Any problem that is uh, perceived, there is a parallel organization which is created. And this Bombay Improvement Trust did uh, Road Biden created uh, wider East Space Wings because it was thought that the westerly wings which pass through Mumbai will uh, have better ventilation and therefore improve the uh, sanitary conditions. They also demolished in the process large number of houses and as compared to that created much smaller number of new houses and which uh, as the history records led to increase in rents. <coughs> but this wasn't uh, <coughs> adequate. Government thought no, 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 this VIP is not good enough. We must also ask a government department to do housing. That is why this uh, Bombay Development Department or BDD was asked to build houses. So in Mumbai, we still have the BIT church and the BDD church. They have survived the uh, real estate market's pressure so far. They are still there. So people keep on talking about their redevelopment. In 1915, the first Town Planning Act was enacted and uh, by 1925 and 33, it was realized that BIT did not have its own separate existence and it was merged with BMC. This again is a uh, isolated example where once an organization has outlived its utility, it is either merged or bound up. Thereafter, no organization has ever been bound up, including the Shibsai Punarva Center. At the time of uh, independence, 1947-50, what was the perception about urbanization? <coughs> Gandhiji had said India lives in villages and that still continues in some form. Left saw cities as symbols of uh, capitalist exploitation. 
new migrants to Mumbai were nostalgic about uh, their own uh, places of origin and particularly Dhoka. Cinema, literature also reflected anti city sentiments. The first five year plan taught urban problems by way of slums, and they said the slums were a disgrace. And why was it a disgrace? Because they thought that the municipal uh, agencies were very weak in enforcing the courts. That was the understanding of slums in that time. These perceptions overshadowed the real problems that were exposed by the play. Members of the groups which 
were working for the original plan. And they came out with a significant idea which was different from the main ruling paradigm. At that time, large cities were seen as a problem and the solution was sought in smaller new towns. And this was the ruling paradigm in UK at that time and everybody thought that was the right thing to do. The large cities should become smaller and there should be smaller new towns which should be developed around the cities. What uh, this article and consistently uh, Patel and Korea, they argued that Mumbai's growth is going to be in the tertiary sector, that is government, offices, trade and related activities, and not so much in manufacturing. And therefore, if you need to attract those activities, you need a much larger city to support those. And it can't be done in smaller new towns dispersed all over the place. And then they analyzed that across the harbor, where the new port was already being planned, and some industries were already uh, beginning to locate there. If government is moved to that area, you get the same ingredients which cause growth of Mumbai on the other side of the uh, harbor. And therefore, the idea of new Bombay was proposed that it became part of the regional plan as well. If you don't look at this picture, you feel that New Bombay is a product of the regional plan. And uh, what happened as the consequence of regional plan and uh, what was proposed there as the new term which was later called as Nabi. But that is not the case, it's not so simple. Actually Mr. Korea and Patel found a working civil servant as the champion of that cause. And he saw to it that there is a political support to this idea. The uh, establishment of Sidgo was also facilitated by him because this is, this, the form of Sidgo is not one which was already there in that. And it create, was created as a government uh, company. What it demonstrates is that Plans don't lead to action. The champions cause the action. And that you find repeatedly. Today's case of the postal road is not a product of the plan. It's a product of a person championing the cause of that uh, postal road. Or uh, even Delhi Metro is not a product of Delhi Master Plan. It is also a uh, scheme which was championed by few civil servants within the Ministry of Work. In a way that, so in a way, uh, I think those kind of uh, projects, ideas, uh, which actually get implemented, need a champion uh, behind them. As this you can see in many cases. The second plan of Mumbai. Then of course, the, I think we won't go into much details of that, but uh, in 1970, SIPO was created and they prepared a development plan for Nami Mumbai, which was uh, prepared during 73 to 79 period and sanctioned also in 79. But I will not go into the details of the story of Nami Mumbai. The uh, plan which was approved, that is the development plan for Greater Mumbai which was approved in 67 in, was in fact due for revision in 77 because the act then provided that it should be by every 10 years. So 77, the municipal corporation began the preparation of a revised development plan and uh, this was meant to be for a period of 81 to 2001. This plan was influenced by two other committees. Uh, no, this, this plan was uh, influenced by uh, this was uh, published by the municipal corporation around 84 and uh, thereafter it went through the committee's review and two successive 
committee is written, formed by a committee called J.P. Misura committee in 87 and then in 1990 by a committee led by K.B. Shreen Vasi. And then that plan finally got approved during the period of 91 to 94. 91 the DC has been approved and during the following three years the actual plans were approved. This is quite a reverse order. We first need a plan which is then translated into DCR. And uh, the plan as stands today has no report which government has approved explaining the rationale behind this plan. So that is also unique about the planning of the report. This, the second uh, plan was of the region as a whole and that was done during 96 to 1999. Uh, this plan was much simpler and uh, did not have any dramatic proposals but it did some, it undid some of the things which were the legacy of controlling industries and offices in uh, Mumbai. It sort of liberalized uh, those, those uh, restrictive measures. Uh, people talk about the new development plan going back to 1991 DCRs. However, they are not 91 DCRs, they have undergone many changes. And two of the major changes were again caused by the uh, committees led by civil servants. The first was Absolute Program Committee, which provided the SRA uh, schemes of dealing with slums. And the second one was Sukhankar Committee, which uh, provided the framework for dealing with safety. Some growth of office sector and government also. 